What's up guys? So a while ago, I asked for you guys to send me your questions to my YouTube channel. Well, today I'm gonna make a video answering those questions. Let's jump in. All right, question number one. EJ Studio 7087 asked, favorite Power Rangers team? I really like Power Rangers Time Force. Alonzo236 asked, who's your favorite villain in Dino Charge? Oh, that's kind of a toss up between Heckle and Snide, well, kind of the same person, and I'd say Sledge. They're both original villains to Dino Charge versus the Super Sentai, which is the Japanese version, but I really love how both of them got to kind of arc out and flesh out their characters. Grant underscore Lagner asked, Tyler's daily routine in Power Rangers Dino Charge. Well, Tyler works at the Dino Bite Cafe, I'm gonna assume five days a week uh, when he's not being a Power Ranger, because, you know, one's for money, one's for saving the world. Uh, he also makes sure he gets in the gym session at least an hour a day, um, you know, and then he hangs out with his friends, you know, like Chase and uh, Coda, unless Coda's jumping back into his own time, but he comes and visits. But then after, if we're talking about the end of Dino Supercharge, then he's taking care of the, not museum, but the zoo. L3D Animations. Who is your favorite costume character in Dino Charge slash Supercharge? Also, if you could choose one Super Sentai to adapt into a brand new Power Rangers season, what would it be? Okay, for his first question, my favorite costume character in Dino Charge slash Supercharge, probably Keeper. Keeper to me was E.T. meets Yoda. I mean, super wise, but also just super cool. Being able to fight and do flips and, you know, use his staff. I mean, Keeper could have been his own Power Ranger. Uh, if I could choose one Super Sentai to adapt into a brand new Power Ranger season, what would it be? Uh, I can't remember the name of it, so help me. It's the one with like the Zodiac Rangers. I think there's 12 Rangers in it. Uh, it was after Kill Ranger or Dino Charge. So whatever that one was, where they had more a bigger team than Dino Charge. So that would be fun. Fandom Queen Jess asks, what's your go-to Power Ranger series to binge watch besides your own? Mighty Morphin's always nostalgic for me, but as an adult, I probably would say Time Force or Power Rangers in Space. They also asked, how did you feel your series finale went in terms of story? So I know this is a hot topic amongst fans. Some people really love it because it was like so unique and others thought, oh, it was kind of cool, but now there's two dimensions and it's kind of strange how you just had this ability to time travel. I like the idea. I just wish there was more time fleshing it out. You know, maybe leading up to, oh, you know, your Energems actually have the ability to time travel. And then maybe several episodes later, we then tapped into the power. But, you know, you work within the budget and the confines of the script. How will you introduce your kid to Power Rangers as the years go on? I haven't decided yet. So I know Yoshi still hasn't had his kids watch Power Rangers. So I may wait a while until maybe they go to school and they're like, Dad, someone's saying you're a Power Ranger. I'd be like, oh, that's funny. You know, and then maybe I'll have them sit down and watch it. The last question, what's your favorite Power Ranger superpower? Well, okay, it's not a superpower. It's more of the morphers, but like in Mighty Morphin, when they can teleport, I think that'd be so useful. <laughs> Dino Charge, we do not teleport. We have to run, ride, fly, use a, a motorbike thing to get to our destinations. Brendan uh, WR4X, the strongest villain you fought from season one slash two. I mean, Lord Arcanon was pretty strong, but it probably goes back to Sledge, especially when we time travel. And because in my mind, I mean, we were, I was holding my own against him when I fought him at the finale of season one in Dino Charge without even the Dino Supercharge armor. And I was like, why did I time travel and then get whooped by him with the Dino Supercharge power up? We went back in time, what, millions of years? So he was younger, probably in his prime and way stronger versus when we fight him in present day. M.E. Meteor asks, why is it that always the villain in Power Rangers gets so close to winning but forgets one ranger and that one ranger defeats the villain alone and saves the other rangers? Because plot armor. Enough said. Why Perks, uh, KI2CX, favorite common Rider show, the common Rider Dragon Knight. And it's the only one I watched, which was with Stephen Lunsford, Stephen Ford, he likes to go by that. Uh, one of my good friends who plays the red common Rider Dragon Knight in the American adaptation. Devo, D-A-Y-A-M, who is your favorite ranger? What is your favorite gymnastics? What is your favorite villain? Favorite ranger, Wes from Time Force. Favorite gymnastics, handstands. Favorite villain, Lord Zed. King Screamo, I watched Dino Charge as a kid, so I wondered what Dino Charge Zord was your favorite. Rexy, Rexy was sentient and, you know, could like help me transform into the supercharge mode by becoming a little toy and then spin in a circle and yeah. 
Rexy. CG Jr. says, hey Brennan, just wanted to know that uh, what superheroes you consider playing in real life or as a voice. I see you posted a lot of Spider-Man videos in the past and I'm very curious. P.S. Very excited to see you in Dino Charge. I was coming of age during the Disney area and I'm going to go back to a lot of Power Rangers now for fun upon finding your channel. You seem just really cool and perfect as a Red Ranger. Cheers. You're awesome. Thank you. To answer your question though, yes, playing Spider-Man would be amazing. Um, maybe playing like Spider-Man 2099, Miguel O'Hara, or it'd be really cool to play Nightwing or Nightcrawler if you have Knight in the beginning of your character's name, apparently, I like you. Uh, some version of Superman. I guess it'd have to be Super Tan Man, though. Seleski Poto 6421 If you had the chance to change your Morphers design, what would they look like? I like some of the other seasons where their Morphers are more incognito versus having a giant blaster. I mean, that's so screams on the Power Ranger. So I, I love the belt buckle idea, or maybe an, uh, the Energems themselves just being our Morpher somehow. I know they want to sell a toy, but I like when it's a little more incognito. You know, the Mighty Morphin, the belt buckles with the power coins, I thought was super cool because it's like this little sleek thing. Uh, maybe other than a blaster, a sword would be cool too. It's not even that I mind that it's a blaster. It's just so gigantic and just in your face and you cannot hide that in public. But apparently we do somehow. Secrets, secrets upon secrets. Asian Baron, what are your thoughts on Power Rangers Mega Force? Actually, I liked it. I know writing wise, it may not have been the strongest, but I was really charmed by the actor's portrayal. I just thought it was fun and it felt, I don't know, very warm. And it made me feel like I was in a snow globe while watching it. Like I always knew they were gonna win and I just could uh, avoid the plot holes, not really care. <laughs> And I just like those actors in real life too. So also uh, they ask, do I like spicy food? To a degree, if it adds flavor, yes. If it's so spicy, I'm just burning to death and I'm supposed to be lying that I enjoy it, then no. Uh, thoughts on the Korean show, Power Rangers Dino Force Brave. I never saw it, but I love their suit design and I'd like to see an adaptation of it where I come back and use that footage. Uh, what inspired you to become an actor? Uh, honestly, my mom and I joked about me uh, being in Degrassi when it was on. She's like, do you think you could do what they do? I was like, yeah. And I was like, not really into acting, but I thought it'd be cool to be a model or something. And then I had a manager who was like, you're too short to model, sorry, to do runway, uh, but you should act. And I was like, no, I'm too shy. And then I took acting classes and stuff. And then I realized I like acting. Can your T-Rex Zord win a fight against the original T-Rex from Mighty Morphin? I'm gonna say yes, because my T-Rex is sentient and you know, can do commands without me being in the Zord. I don't have to use joysticks to make Rexy fight. And also, would you love to see a Red Ranger in other games like Fortnite? I'd love to see them in Super Smash Brothers. I don't play Fortnite. Uh, I mean, it'd be cool to see them in it, but I don't play it. But I do play Super Smash Brothers. And the Smash Ball would definitely be a mega Zord attack. Mini O or two, what season aside from Dino Charge itself would you want to be in? Like a guest or a ranger, anything. Uh, whatever season is next that hasn't filmed yet because then I can be in it. Because if it's already filmed, then I can't be in it because it's already done. Fireball Mobile, what was your favorite Zord in Dino Charge? Uh, Rexy, but if we want to say favorite Zord in general, I really love the Dragon Zord from Mighty Morphin. I love the White Tiger Zord. And I love the Quantum T-Rex Zord from Time Force. That's pretty cool. Ben Walter 9725, what was your favorite part of being a Power Ranger? I grew up on Power Rangers, so it was just one of those dream roles where you never thought it'd actually happen, especially after having auditioned for Samurai, getting far in the callbacks and not booking it. So it was just a dream come true. But now after the fact of filming, it's just getting to meet fans. And I love when someone tells me that my portrayal was inspirational to them in some way, helped them through a hard time or motivated them to never give up on their dreams or to, you know, work with friendship or whatever it is, you know, the corny things in Power Rangers, but that are actually things we all kind of want, but we only say they're corny because unfortunately life doesn't tend to be as nice as Power Rangers tends to be, but we all kind of want friends to be that accountable and helpful. So I just, yeah, I, I love just being able to hopefully be uh, inspirational to other people. And I know I am also a human who fails at things, but it's okay to make mistakes as long as you learn from them, so. The last L-A-H-O-F-E, I don't know what that is. Uh, what type of acting role would you like to take next? Well, I do love the superhero type thing. So if I was offered a role in DC or Marvel, yes, please. But also just like, I don't know, action roles in general, P playing like a secret agent, you know, like the Born Identity would be cool or Mission Impossible type roles. They're just exciting to me. Not that I'm anti playing a role where I'm just 
a normal person, so to speak. But if it's too slice of life, I'd rather just go live life versus someone who is a little more, it's the same with video games. I, I'm not someone who likes games that are based off of things in real life. Like I don't wanna play a sports game. No offense if you like playing NBA games or football games on consoles, but I'd rather just go play basketball or football. I wanna play a game where I can't do things in real life. So I like acting in roles where I can't do those things in real life. Critical hit. What would you say is your favorite comfort food or cheat day meal? I really like macaroni and cheese, like box macaroni and cheese. I don't know when it, actually good mac and cheese isn't as good to me as when there's a bit of like, you know, that milky cheese kind of like sauce. It was the craft growing up. Now it's like the Anne's mac and cheese I like. And I really love ice cream, uh, but I like high quality ice cream, not just like, you know, thrift store ice cream per se, but if it's, you know, uh, liquid nitrogen ice cream's really good, or if it's organic ice cream or frozen yogurt even, depending on the one I really like. I am heel 9727 When did it finally sink in that you were going to be viewed as a hero to the people for the rest of your life, and I bet it felt awesome to be named the red one too? Honestly, it still hasn't fully sunk in because I'll forget that I played a Power Ranger until someone else brings it up or I'm doing a video for YouTube about Power Rangers. And then someone will be like, oh, by the way, I loved you in Power Rangers. Or, oh, you grew your hair out again, like in Power Rangers. That's cool. Now it's short, but it was long last week. And then I cut it for a job. And then even on a job, I was on set, what, like two, two days ago? And someone was like, yo, can you show me your morph? I found out you're a Power Ranger. So it's just, even if they haven't seen my season, they know what Power Rangers is. So it, it's now being part of something that's bigger than myself and that just always holds something of a nostalgic kind of charm in anyone from the 90s. The Cybernetic Drex 1613. What was your favorite episode of filming during Dino Charge and why? So I'm not gonna say favorite episode per se, but the favorite episodes was whenever, I loved doing fight scenes when we weren't in suit because in suit it was 99.9% .9 of the time a stunt double. And I liked being able to do the fights myself. So whenever I got to do a civilian fight outside of the suit was really amazing. Uh, and then also scenes where it was me and like one other ranger, whether it was me and James or me and Yoshi or me and Davi. Basically, if you watch a Power Ranger episode, you know, it's what, 22, 23 minutes after commercials, you take away another five to eight minutes for a Megazord fight, take away another whatever amount of minutes for in the suits fighting. So there's not a lot of actual just interaction talking to other people. And also my season had 10 rangers. So if we were all 10 in an episode, you know, one of us may get to talk while the others go, yeah, and run off and fight. So if it was just me and one other actor, we actually could have a longer dialogue. And that was always fun because I enjoy acting, not just saying one word, which is still acting, but I want to actually converse and be able to play off of their, you know, little attention to detail. Like, oh, they said it this way and I'm going to react authentically and it hit me this way versus, all right, everyone, let's run out of the base. And then I just go, all right. You know, it's kind of just, all right, and run after them. Movie Clips W. If you were asked to do another season of Dino Charge, would you do it? Absolutely, if my schedule allowed it. Uh, I love being a Power Ranger. I, again, I'm a fan of it myself. So yes, I would love to be able to jump back. Always a DECA Ranger. My question is, do you watch international dubs of the Power Ranger series that are any type? No, but I have been shown the Spanish dub by a fan when I was at a convention one time and they were telling me that they voiced other big shows in anime too. I can't remember which ones, but I was jealous because they have a voice acting career that I also want to do. I want to dub anime. Um, so if you're listening to this and you have the ability to hire me in anime, yeah, let's do it. AB Henu 6180, Dino Charge, your favorite most fight moment. Uh, as I mentioned before, whenever I got to fight outside of the suit, so my fight 1v1 against Fury was cool. Uh, fighting Coda when he was taken over by the Stingrage thing was good. Um, what else? And really anytime we fought, fighting Sledge on the ship, but that was once I morphed, and when I morphed then it was a stunt actor, so not that one as much. Yeah, basically when Tyler got to fight. Okay, Ray Hay 7701 would you ever compete in American Ninja Warrior again or even Japanese competition Sasuke if given the chance? Yeah, probably. To, to do it though, at least when I did the last two times, I had to film a video, get it edited, submit it, fill out a bunch of paperwork online, and then you're not always called back anyway, and I don't want to if someone's just like, hey, are you interested? We have a spot for you, sure. But I don't feel like sitting down and doing all the things at the moment. I just have a lot going on otherwise. Louis QV AEW. What other Ranger series would you be in if you weren't in Dino Charge? If we're talking about past series, Time Force would be cool, In Space would be great, 
uh, Ninja Storm, uh, Mighty Morphin, if that's even possible. Um, yeah, one of those, probably. Cosmic Fury. Valo's official, if you could change one thing about your series, what would it be? Storyline-wise, I would have given Ruben the Aqua Ranger. Well, in the show, his name is James, the Aqua Ranger. I would have given him amnesia instead of him running away to protect us for 10 years or whatever, or eight years, however long he was gone for. He left when I was 10 in the show uh, to protect us because the bad guys were after him because he was a Power Ranger. I felt like it would have made more sense if he had amnesia versus just protecting us because he never contacted me via like a text or, you know, the mail or anything like that. Because if I were the bad guys, I would have been like, oh, I know he has a son. Why don't we just go kidnap the son and then, you know, make him turn over his energy. Elena SKZ, what was the first Power Rangers season you watched? Mighty Morphin, I watched it from the beginning. Saborus, how was it filming Supergirl? I know Yoshi's brother also filmed Supergirl. That was amazing and when I booked that, I was actually about to quit acting because it was one of those times I thought the audition went horribly. I felt really awkward in the room and there was two scenes, I was supposed to do one. And then normally after you finish a scene, they go, great, yeah, let's redo it, give you some notes, try it this way. Or that was great, let's move on to the next scene. And they didn't say anything, I did the first scene and then they just stared at me and I felt really awkward, like a really long pause went up by. And then I was like, uh, okay. And then I just started the second scene because it's apparently what they wanted and it just threw me off. And then they were wearing like, I voted stickers. I don't even remember what they were voting for at the time. And I was like, oh, by the way, thanks for voting or something. They're like, yeah. And I just, it felt so dumb and awkward. I left and I was telling my mom on the phone. I was like, man, acting is so dumb. I never get hired. No one hires me. Like, I just, I should quit and do something else. And then I got a call from an agent and they're like, hey, yeah, so I just got an email saying that uh, they wanna know if you're available for Supergirl. I was like, are you kidding me? Like on the drive home. And then, uh, yeah, so I, I ranted and complained and then I got the job. Gamer guy 5602 was the story of Dino Charge slash Supercharge ever changed and what were the changes? Uh, well, if they were changed, I'm sure, because they had a team of writers who would, you know, go over the episode and then we would do table reads and then they might tweak some lines here and there, but by the time it got to the table read, the script was pretty much 98% locked in. So I didn't see the earlier drafts. I mean, I know my character Tyler was named Lucas initially, but I couldn't tell you that we were actually gonna fight a guy named this and we fought someone else, like, I don't know, probably, but I'd have to ask the writers. Nick from asks, if you got to decide which ranger from any season, you got to be instead of the Dinochard Red, which would it be? Well, if it's a future season, I think it'd be cool to be the Platinum Ranger because that hasn't been a thing or to be a male pink ranger also hasn't been a thing. Um, but if we're talking about existing rangers, I love the gold Zeo suit. It's my favorite suit. So that'd be pretty legit. Moto283, if you had to be cast as another ranger from Dino Charge, who do you think you would be the best as? Ah, ooh, I did audition for Black Ranger, but I think I'd probably be decent as either Coda, so our Blue Ranger who's a caveman, or Davi the Gold Ranger as a knight. Albion Legend, when it comes to your fitness, are you a perfectionist? Do you always look at yourself and see areas of improvement? like my arms need to be bigger, I need to work on my delts more, etc. Or have you reached a point where you're fully content with your routine? To me, it's about being content, but not complacent. So it's not like, oh man, I my biceps are too small, I need to go hit the gym more. It's more, I love challenging myself and I'm like, okay, I bet you I could get stronger from this. And a byproduct of that is, oh cool, my bicep got bigger too. So yes, some exercises I do because of the aesthetic part of it. It's part of my job, you know, being into fitness and the roles I go out for. But I also like the skills it gives me by being strong. Today, for instance, I was working on my one-arm pull-up and to be able to do a one-arm pull-up, you tend to have to be somewhat strong. So you tend to develop some level of muscle, right? Uh, as long as your diet's on point, you can then see said muscles because there are a lot of strong people and they lift absurd amounts of weight, but they may have um, a bit of a caloric a surplus to the point where they don't actually look like they're in shape, but they're super strong. So I like being strong, but also hitting that aesthetic kind of balance. And depending on a role, if they needed me to be like even more jacked, then I would watch and fine tune my diet even more, or I would change my workout routine. But right now I do a lot of like, calisthenics for skills and body building weightlifting stuff, but I don't do just one or the other because I kind of doing both because why not? So if I didn't get to your question in this video and you want to hear me answer other questions I'm asked a lot at conventions, watch this video.